Hola a todos, estamos en el pabellón de América Latina y el Caribe organizado por CAF en la COP28 en Dubai, donde tenemos conversaciones con expertos y referentes eh, respecto de las oportunidades y los desafíos que supone la acción frente al cambio climático desde una perspectiva de la región. Y hoy para hablar de ello en el vínculo con eh, las urbes, nos acompaña Maimuna Mod Sharif, directora ejecutiva de ONU Habitat, con quien, les aviso, vamos a tener una conversación en inglés que tendrá subtítulos. Maimuna, thank you so much for, for joining us here uh, at COP28. Thank you so much for having me also, Thais. Thank you. I, I mean, I just want to start like maybe to the basis question as uh, you are the director of um, uh, UN Habitat, like why is important like to promote climate action uh, in cities and, and with cities also uh, in the table of decisions? Yeah, thank you very much, Thais, for that question, because let me start with giving you some data. Then, then I will link it into the importance of cities. And from our uh, UN habitat is dealing with human settlements and also dealing with human settlement in cities, in big cities, small cities, in rural areas, and also the intermediary cities. And during our reporting, we report our SDG 11. We are the custodian of SDG 11. We're dealing with cities, sustainable, inclusive, uh, and also resilient. In the 2018 uh, report, and also 2023 report of our SDG 11. Now, 65% of the global population will live in, live in city now. Mm. By 2050, 70% of the global population will stay in cities. And the future is urban. The future is urban. And when you link it to COP, when you link it to climate change, cities emit 70% of carbon emission and they use 70% of energy. And yet, city is the center of growth, mm -hmm. the engine of growth. That is more important to include cities in every conversation, not only in COP, in every conversation that we need to put cities at the center of the, of the, of the discussion, at the center of the decision. We need to put cities at the table. And the in cities do not on, only have to work like on uh, like resolve the problem in terms of the responsibility and reducing emissions that will be mitigation, but also adaptations. Because uh, I'm, for example, from Buenos Aires, the last summer we had like the double um, uh, heat waves in a summer season. So in cities also, as you mentioned, where all people are concentrated living, they are facing the impacts of, of climate change. Yeah, C cities and especially the most vulnerable people, the urban poor, will, will have the first impact of climate change. When you talk about cities, it's not only about a problem. Cities also create a solution, urban solution. So that's why I always mention that we need to flip the script that cities is not only having problem, issues, challenges. Cities is also the engine of growth. Cities is also where the hub of talent. And cities is also where the financial institution in the cities. Let use this positive energy to flip the script that cities is also as a center of innovation to solve or to mitigate the problem of urban heat, the problem of flooding, the problem of, of, uh, of, of uh, less uh, 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 pollution. And so that through integrated planning, not because that I'm an urban planner for a profession, I believe in integrated planning, holistic planning, how you plan your cities will help you design and how you manage your cities, you will see the result at the end of the day. Uh, climate change is at the center of the new urban agenda that was approved. What opportunities and challenges do you see um, on this agenda regarding in the perspective of Latin America and the Caribbean? Yeah, Latin America and Caribbean is one of the continent also is fast urbanized uh, together with Africa continent and together with Asia. And what I think one of the areas that when I felt is the understanding what is new urban agenda and how can we implement the new urban agenda in order to achieve the 169 target of the SDGs. So that's the reason why you inhabited 
working together with, with uh, Latin America and Caribbean through our regional office that well, we are going to sign there with the CAF uh, uh, today is how can we help using our expertise to make the decision maker, to make the communities, to make the government understand how, what is new urban agenda, how can we use new urban agenda to achieve the 169 target. This is very, very important because the new urban agenda is the how. It was agreed in Quito in 2016. So I think that is what I would like to see is that will be more report on the new urban agenda in the, in the next reporting in 2026 because it's only around 40 countries yes. reported the new urban agenda in the last, in 2023. Uh, so I think in the next report, it will be more. So that is our duty to work together with, with, with CAF, to work together with the government of, uh, of Colombia, Argentina, in, in the Latin America and Caribbean uh, countries to help them to understand new urban agenda and also to help them to implement the new urban agenda to achieve the uh, 169 time, especially the SDG 11. <laughs> and my yeah. last questions, I mean, I, I, I would like to, to ask you if you could explain and share with us what is the and how is the function of the Biodiversities yes, Network, yes, I pronounce, yes. okay? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And the role of cities and the role uh, and, and to achieve the climate change and achieve the climate uh, uh, um, action. In the UN Habitat Assembly in June this year, the member state approved and endorsed the biodiverse and resilient cities. And we know biodiverse city, S-I-T-Y, but I, I, I would like to also to share that biodiverse cities, we need to use the natural uh, uh, solution, the nature-based solution to, to uh, uh, mitigate the, 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 the problem and the challenges of climate change. So the role of cities and how we plan, how we allocate the, the areas within the city, within the country in terms of the, the green areas, the public spaces, the commercial area, the industrial area, that's determine the result, whether we can achieve the 1.5 degrees or not. So that is the importance of biodiversity and this is already endorsed by the Habitat Assembly in June this year. That's yeah. really, really yeah. interesting. Well, thank you so much thank you. Uh, for this conversation here at the Pavilion. Uh, estábamos conversando con Maimuna Mod Sharif, directora ejecutiva de ONU Habitat. Los invitamos a seguir las redes sociales de CAF para conocer las próximas conversaciones sobre las oportunidades y los desafíos que supone la acción frente al cambio climático desde una perspectiva de América Latina y el Caribe. Muchas gracias.